So you received your EIU materials kit, but you don't know how to get started? Don't freak out, we're here to help. By the end of this video, you should feel confident about unpacking, organizing, and assembling materials so you can begin teaching your EIE unit. Now let's get started. Your first step is to read through your teacher guide. Pay close attention to the materials list and preparation sections. For additional information, check out some of our EIE videos online. Each unit has how-to videos to help you know what to expect as you prepare your materials. EIE is all about hands-on activities that engage students, but things can get messy. That's why preparation is key. Some EIE units take minimal prep, while others take a lot. The materials you receive in your kit are all different depending on the unit you're teaching. For some units, you'll have to create individual base models for every group of students. Groups will use these models to build upon for the design challenge. For instance, you will have to build a replica of a knee for our knee brace unit, or a windmill for our wind unit. Most models you create can be used year after year. Additionally, some units require a single testing station. Testing stations allow a whole class to observe and experiment with materials and designs together as a large group. For many units, you'll also need to prepare sets of sample materials. These samples allow students to explore the properties of each material before they make their design choices. Check out the teacher guide of your specific unit to see the full list of materials and how to set them up. Third grade teacher Kate Lance just finished teaching an EIE unit for the first time. I asked her about her experience using the materials and any strategies she would recommend for a teacher new to EIE. The process, it does take time, but I'm making the base models and I'm realizing I can use these year after year after year. And then another point that's really, it's just, this is the one for me that's so important is when the kids get the base models and they start putting the design challenge to work, it's really authentic, it's engaging, they're collaborating, they're using the models as a forum for conversation and working together and um, failing and then trying again. And uh, yes, it is a lot of work, but in the end, it is so worth it. Additionally, make sure to consider time-sensitive materials. Some materials need to be created the day before a lesson, while others can be stored. Refer to your teacher guide to make sure you know when the materials in your unit need to be made. And lastly, consider your classroom setup. Let's ask Nia, a professional development provider here at EIE, for some helpful tips for setting up a classroom. So, you want to be able to manage 20 plus students who all want stuff at the same time. Setting up materials and organizing your classroom ahead of time helps things go smoothly and will create a successful learning environment for your students. For example, when distributing your materials to your class, try setting up a material store. In the end, if you're familiar with your teacher guide and organize your materials and space accordingly, your unit will be a fun and engaging experience for all.